What's up, scrappers? CC Scraps here. Today, we are going to scrap out a fluorescent light without a ballast. Tools you're gonna need, you're gonna need a screw gun, quarter inch nut drive, this is just my other set, flathead screwdriver, the old set of trusty old side cutters. Say hi, baby. Hi, y'all. Um, don't forget to check out my husband's YouTube or Instagram, Vice Versa. Um, whichever we're on today, now let's get this thing started. What's up? Here we are. Got the light here. This one came with a little bit of copper wire. Looks like some number one copper, number three insulated copper, or number three insulated copper wire, and number one insulated copper wire. Oh, uh, there's some screws here. I already started taking some of them out. I like to sometimes have a little bin right here to uh, put them in, but I don't at the moment. Uh, all right. I'd like to start out too by, uh, I got some new subscribers this week. Um, uh, Mr. K, the scrapper, is from the UK. Pretty cool dude. Uh, Ace J Check, thank you. And Justin the TV Man, thank you. And a big thank you, I'd like to say to Stephen Balden was one of my first subscribers that's been passing my channel out. Gives me some tips with the camera and I appreciate it. Up by, uh, I wanna say near Canada, correct? If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But again, I thank you all. Thank you very much. Let's get started here. I've taken the screws out. Now we're gonna do, get that a, tip, a tap, maybe a Oh, I didn't do that one, sorry. Just trying to be cool. Oh yeah, I did. just didn't come out. Now it's going to knock out your uh, wiring right here and here. Steel, boom. Cut that. Cut your number three wires you're cutting. That goes in your uh, plastic or bin or whatever. So now we got the edges. These should be just tab in. They should come right out. Now we're going to start. Now we're going to work on this. What we got here is some aluminum. This is called BX housing, just conduit. It's usually got three wires in it, positive, negative, and the ground. And that's a number one copper wire. That's solid core copper. And that's worth, uh, that's got some value to it. So we're gonna take this screw off. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down in the layer, and then I'm gonna show y'all how to extrude some copper out of the microwave transformer. I'm gonna bust out the angle grinder, make a little noise, tear up some sparks. It's gonna be a great time. Uh, we're gonna get this piece out of here. A little ground right there. Get your little thing on there, boom. And that's out. Now we deal with this part here. This is where that uh, flathead screwdriver is gonna come in, handy. Right here. This is gonna loosen up your, this is die cast right here. That's gonna go as die cast aluminum. And that's a lower price. I don't know exactly what the prices are. I'm gonna unscrew that for aluminum. Then you got this piece here. That's kind of a pain sometimes. Ugh. But this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna take these wire nuts off. This is what I'm talking about, about that number one solid core copper wire. For that number one insulated. See how it's nice and... and uh, I'm gonna try to take this apart here. I didn't, I didn't bring my channel lock, but this will work. And see how it's nice and tight and shiny. That's gonna go for that's gonna go for uh, not bare bright copper, but number one copper. I think that's what it's gonna be. There's number three insulated, number two insulated, number three insulated. Copper wire is like this little stuff you'll find like in the microwaves. Number two insulated copper wire is any kind of copper that you're going to find like on your TV cord, your microwave cord, pretty much appliance cords, number two. Number one copper wire is what we're doing here. And you can tell that because when you bend it, it stays. Like you can bend it in a little and it stays. It keeps its, its form like this. Does It does and it doesn't. You know, it... They, they might give you number one for this, but they probably won't because there's not a lot of it in there. It's very small. So that's it. And then this is going to come off. You be able to, this should, the wire should be able to come right out of here. Sometimes it's, they're hard to get out because there's plastic in there. And anyway, this is aluminum. This part here, this will go for sheet aluminum is what they give me for it when I take the wire out. 
I mean, you could take this to the scrapyard as is. This one's going to come out. You could take this to the scrapyard as is like this, and they'll throw it in your steel pile, and you get like three and a half, four cents a pound for it. Or you can take the time and break it down a little bit. Then after this is done, like I said, we're going to go down in the lair. And uh, see how that comes off? Piece of aluminum, that crappy old plastic. That's out of there. This comes out. Guess I lied. These wire nuts off. Oh, they should come right up. Am I lying to all y'all folks again? Oh, there we go. Good. Now this thing here, that might not unscrew as easy because it's bent. So anyway, that's going to come off. These two pieces here, this piece and this piece is cast aluminum. That's steel. I know that already because I've magnetized it. Magnet sticks to it. It's steel. Stainless steel and magnet won't stick to it. Uh, aluminum, anything non-ferrous, your magnet's not going to stick to it. Ferrous is tin. Non-ferrous. This would be non-ferrous metal. Ferrous metal. But yeah. So let's head down to the lair, and uh, we'll get this going. What's up, Scrappers? CC Scraps. We are in the lair today. Uh, we just scrapped out a fluorescent light, uh, and I'm going to show you how to extrude... Uh, the copper from the transformer from a microwave. This is from a microwave I had. Here you're going to see that's going to be copper or aluminum. Your microwaves are going to be aluminum or copper. One is going to be one or the other, one of these wines. We're going to get right in here. See this weld right on here? I'm going to cut that weld with my angle grinder and then I'm just going to bust it loose and that's going to pop out and then I'm going to pound the crap out of this and this is going to come on. You're going to see how it's going to look. So, right. here we go. Ready? Right. Safety first. <laughs> Angle grinder. These are a godsend, scrappers. Ready? Always a smoke alarm goes off. Of course, it's got to go through the whole house. Ah, I cut the wrong weld, but I'm going to cut it again. See here that little line? I'm just going to cut along that right there, and then it's going to come loose. I apologize. I hit the wrong one. I haven't used my angle grinder in a while, and I was a little stoked to use it. So it was fun, though, wasn't it? That's the beauty about scrapping. You never know. Some of them are different. Normally, they're right on here, the weld is. This one's a little backward for me, but that's quite all right. So I'm going to go back in the vise. Oh, I got this vise at the flea market for like $10. Right, here we go again. 